Who's better at predicting presidential elections, professional pollsters or online gamblers? Yeah, it turns out placing bets is more accurate than taking polls. Two Once It Knows Ben Briscoe went to find out why. Here's the deal. More than 100,000 people are now betting on politics through the website predictit.org. I'm um, overall, I, I put about $60,000 into Predict It. Um, in my Hold on, did you say 60000 $60,000, yes. Trevor Buckman won all of that back, plus another nineteen grand. It's stressful, but it's so much fun. And I, and I feel so tuned in to the political world right now in a way even beyond anything that, I, that I've done before. The website started as part of a global academic research project studying how well financial markets work at predicting outcomes. Increasingly, polls are less reliable and more difficult and expensive to conduct, and they're out of date the minute the questions have been asked. And markets, on the other hand, are quite accurate, uh, surprisingly so. They're not perfect, but markets are much more accurate. For example, Former President Donald Trump won North Carolina in 2020. But going into Election Day, the average of all major political polls had President Biden up 1.9%. Predicted users, on the other hand, had Trump up by three points. Got a very accurate forecast. Um, it's, you know, affectionately known as wisdom of crowds. Uh, you also have some other interesting things happening then. You get real engagement by people who have a little bit of skin in the game. Uh, they discard and start to disregard a lot of the fake news that circulates out there and focus on the facts. Predicted sometimes feels like a second job. Trevor is a former DC insider who now works as a public defender, but he spends countless hours flushing out research for his bets. Going through every senator's voting history, putting together spreadsheets, getting on C-SPAN, trying to find the fastest speed, uh, fastest feed of C-SPAN. It turns out their radio app is quicker than their, than their live stream that they have. So that was the one to listen into. Professors at the University of North Carolina found this kind of effort has made political betting pretty accurate at predicting winners in the past. They looked at gambling odds from 1868 to 1940. The resulting betting odds almost always correctly predicted election outcomes well in advance. I think it, it, it takes into account not just how people say that they're feeling, but also historically how people have acted after they say certain things to pollsters and then start talking to each other. It takes into account um, how the economy is going, what COVID rates look like, these things that, that really affect people's day-to-day -day lives. Okay, I got to ask you, who do you think is going to win the 2024 election? The presidential election? Yeah. Who's going to be the nominee and who's going to win? So I think Biden has to get out of the way. I, I think that where his approval ratings are at right now, it's just not sustainable, especially if Dems take a bad, bad loss in 2022. I don't think they can select him again. It's probably Harris getting the nomination for the Dem side. I think that Trump is going to keep public attention on him for as long as possible, trying to get people to pay attention to him and suggest that he's going to run in 2024. But I think ultimately he doesn't. Probably DeSantis jumps in and gets the nomination. And then it's probably Harris, but I don't know. That would be a very, very close decision. Not, not somewhere I'm putting my money in. I talked with several pollsters who say, look, they totally get that people have a hard time trusting the polls again, but they made several changes to make them more accurate next time around. And you can bet we'll be here to call them on that claim at the next election. Ben Briscoe, two wants to know.